Hey everybody, Joshua Poppins here with my umbrella taking a look at the uh, 2100 rear bath couples camping really cool uh, Cruiser MPG. Cruiser is a brand that uh, has gone through some different phases in their history and I feel like they're firing on all cylinders right now. They have silently amassed uh, some very good talent among their team, both their design team, their sales team, and everything. And it really shows in here. They're doing a couple things that really stand out uh, uh, apart from the pack for me. Um, like we've got uh, Asdell composite paneling used in the walls. They have a patent pending sliding king bed system on this that uh, I'm really excited to see what you think about that. But they've also done some really creative stuff with the storage, like up in the front compartment. There's um, like this extra little storage tub built into the floor, basically. Um, and now that I've seen it, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, that is a pocket of wasted dead air space that has existed for decades that no one's ever done anything with. And then MPG comes along and says, I got you. I got you, fam. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to use that space. Nothing gone to waste. And I love seeing creative little things like that. Like we're carpetless. We're easy cleaning. They've got a big open feeling vaulted ceiling. Um, this is a brand that I know that I looked over in years past, and I know that I haven't had a lot of requests to take a look at these, and I really felt like they deserve their day in the sun. These guys deserve their day in court. They're doing some really good, really sharp things over here that I don't know that everybody's catching, and I specifically wanted to get this floor plan. I'm glad that we had it here in our Davenport, Iowa location, um, because it's, it's very similar to some things, say, like Rockwood or Flagstaff or Cougar, or a lot of other people might build, and it makes for a very good comparison piece if you want to kind of see how it stacks up to some of those other guys. So as we go, I'm going to ask you to let me know what you like about it and what you'd change given the opportunity. And maybe we have something else in our lineup that fits you better. But I got to say, I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. Now, this is something that's all up in the wheelhouse of like a 22 RBS Cougar, a 2205S Rockwood, and just a whole host of other things. Again, I specifically uh, seek out floor plans like this in brands that I haven't recorded before to kind of see how they stack up. And this one feels bigger inside than any of those other things that I just discussed. And the reasoning for it is not necessarily that it's bigger. You know, it has the same kind of vaulted ceiling, the same kind of rough sidewalls, uh, you know, pretty close as a Cougar. But they took the pantry and they took this refrigerator and they put them in the slide. And what that does is it opens up all this floor space and air space. And it makes this little trailer feel absolutely huge inside. And I love it. The color palette is working for me. The big windows and the lighting packages, those are working for me. And something else here. I like just seeing something different. I'm a big theater seat fan, but now and then it's nice to see something a little left to center. Like a big trifold hide a bed right here to give you a guest capacity in a uh, uh, an otherwise like couple's camper. And notice that they are carpetless. They're ventless flooring. This is nice and easy to clean. But um, we should probably get the elephant out of the room. You're looking at this thing and you're like, what kind of idiocy is this? Why would they build the bed all the way against the wall? And the thing is, my friends, they did not. This is a king uh, sliding bed or glide a bed or slide a bed or whatever you want to call it. But the bed entire platform literally slides, rolls, and glides all the way from the left to right in the RV. And there's still storage below it. And what's really sneaky and I think might be very cool, there is a, uh, a heat vent in the floor under that to project heat up against your backside when you're laying in bed. And it is actually a proven fact that you will sleep better if your feet are warm. And I think that's gonna be a little bit of a footsie fryer right there. Now, because you've got that slide -a -glide -glide, sliding glide of bed, I don't know what to call it. I stumbled over my words. My brain seriously just went and sounded like it was uh, dialing up AOL there for a minute. They had to get creative. So they gave us little side pockets for our phones. If you're gonna be a CPAP user, you're gonna to wanna to have to kind of plan accordingly here. And um, I, I also wanna showcase for you, there are household and USB outlets under those uh, overhead cabinet spaces right there. Not to mention all the other storage that you have, you know, above the bed. And in case you're curious, you don't have to have it in left or right side mode. You can center it. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to say this. I was so excited about the gimmicky factor. It's a 72 by 80 king bed. I, I'm so sorry. 
Um, let me sit down over here at the, the uh, uh, I almost said theater seating, but it's it's not. It's a height of bed. And this is going to be your view from the sofa. I'm all the way on the right-hand side here. Now, with the kitchen over here, not a lot of opportunity for door side windows, but I think they did pretty darn good. The window in the door is shade ready. I'm not going to get back on my soapbox on that like I usually do. The fact is we can put a shade in for you if you're interested. Sealed edge kitchen uh, countertops over here. And since they have, you know, a full-time sofa, you might be wondering, where do I eat? So they gave us a couple little stools over here and a breakfast bar. Now, admittedly, if somebody's sitting there at the breakfast bar, you might be in the way of the TV setup. But you may also notice, well, first of all, privacy curtain on the left, sorry, squirrel, but uh, how they do not have a TV in this. They let you pick your own television. Because a lot of times, factory TVs, frankly, guys, they're not amazing. They're often, you know, lower definition or they're smaller in size. So Cruiser is letting you pick the TV that works for you because the fact is basically they can't buy them any cheaper than you can. So it just saves you the money from having to potentially replace a TV and get the one that you're going to want uh, the first time. That's the idea anyway. I don't know. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Look at that side pocket though. That is like, that takes me back to the old classic Fleetwood Camp days. They would do stuff like that all the time. And I really like it because they put like a little phone charger pocket in there. You can see the green glow from the uh, LED lights in there. Either that or uh, it's the green eyes of jealousy from some other brand who didn't figure out how to build this one and make it feel bigger. I don't know. I was reaching there. That sucked. Hey, man, that's the thing about the jokes that come off the cuff. Some of them are winners. Some of them are not, obviously. So uh, over here, we've got a 12-volt compressor fridge in this slide beside the pantry. Looking at the option sheet, it's kind of interesting. I don't see options for a uh, a theater seat in place of that hide bed nor do I see options for a uh, two-way fridge instead of the 12-volt. So depending on what you're looking for, you might check into that. You know what I didn't check into? Cabinet construction styling. Oh, we're pocket screwed. Okay, so we are lumber core with a sticker wrap, uh, pocket screwed with hidden hinges. Nice. That is, you know, about the best that I, I tend to see in travel trailers. I can't remember the last time I saw anything more, but speaking of more, oh my lord. How about more counter space? This thing is loaded. I'm going to spin you slowly uh, around the uh, kitchen counter space here, and then we are going to take a peek in the bathroom, which is uh, a phrase that you have to be in the right um, kind of parameters and uh, connotations to say, taking a peek in the bathroom sometimes can get you slapped um, in the wrong company. Look at the little cabinet door hardware they're using on here. I like these. And they're rounded on the edges, so you're not going to rip your legs apart with them. That was nice. Now, no camper is ever perfect, but they're doing a lot of good things here. Like, um, th this has some pretty heavy-duty flooring. 5 8 tongue and groove plywood flooring. Aluminum studding in the floor, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, the uh, Or joists. Technically, when it's in the floor, it's a joist. When it's in the roof, it's a truss. When it's in the wall, it's a stud. But you know what I'm talking about, right? But, you know, uh, not every not every RV works for every single person in every single way. For instance, if I'm going to, to ding this RV in any area, it feels like the bath... After they did so many awesome things in the rest of the camper, the bathroom feels a little underwhelming. Like, I don't mind the radius shower in this size camper. I get that they have to. I know that some people may not like it. But I get why they had to do it. It does have excellent headroom with that vault, however. But the uh, it, it's really lacking some storage in here. Like, even a small little upper corner cabinet, just some place to let me store a couple towels. It is a plastic stool that could be changed out for porcelain. Um, but the rest of the RV is so sharp, it, it almost feels out of place. That being said... Usually floor plans like this have garbage personal space around that toilet. This one's not terrible. And the road mode function in here is fantastic. Obviously, the slide's closed. It's in front of the bed. But obviously, it is not hard, even with that giant countertop, to work your way around it. So we are naptastic with that fridge and the kitchen available. We're snacktastic, and there's nothing blocking the bathroom door. We are craptastic. One, two, three, add them up. That is how you do it right there, folks. Pardon me as I bring the old umbrella into view for just a second, and then I'm going to swing over and get that door shut. Thankfully, we got that nice big power awning to make sure we keep the uh, rainwater out of our face on this thing. 
And just to give you kind of a little bit of a before and after of the travel mode, I thought I'd wheel my way around the back side here, and we'll do this thing in almost reverse rotational mode. And sometimes it's the simplest things that make the biggest differences. Uh, like they put these little black tabs on their slide walls to make sure those slide wipers uh, flip in and out properly so you don't have an unintentional crimp. Over here, separate cable and satellite hookups, black tank flush, outside uh, cold water sprayer port, not a full hot cold shower, but I think a cold sprayer port next to a sewer station is enough at least. Um, the uh, sidewalls, your wall construction on this, uh, they are using Asdell uh, composite paneling. This is a five-sided uh, aluminum framed product. The, uh, I believe the roof of this is the only thing on it that's basically stick built, but it is a snow load roof. Um, it is a uh, plywood tongue and groove floor, by the way. So sometimes when you hear aluminum, you automatically think uh, lamination. And there are some times that I think folks get a little spooked by a lamination, uh, a laminated floor, because it can potentially over time develop soft spots depending on how it's built. Um, the trick is it's not very clear for manufacturers sometimes how different things are built. Now I'm fighting a giant umbrella against wind that you're probably not hearing because the umbrella is shielding the most of it from us. So if the camera's kind of lurching around a little bit, it ain't easy doing what I do with one hand on the camera here, folks. But look at this, giant storage compartment, equal size baggage doors on both sides. I love that front LED accent light right there. That reminds me of stuff that like Freedom Express does. And I like that because I like being able to see in the whole pass through. But this is that belly tub storage system right here. It's simple, it's brilliant. And you know what it kind of reminds me of? In the dovetail of some toy haulers, they have a little tool chest. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And in case you're wondering, there's actually a magnet catch over there. So that will hold itself up. So you don't have to kind of, you know, dig in there and, and get clomped on the head. Now I gotta verify this, but at the time of this filming, what I've been able to see, it looks like that portable plug right there for uh, a portable solar panel is the only solar accommodations uh, built in from the factory on this RV. Now, um, presuming that is true, and I'll try to leave you notes on the screen to you know confirm or deny that or whatever the case may be. Um, presuming that is true though, I would be curious to know from you folks, ooh, man, that has a good look, doesn't it? Uh, what, you know, what do you think they should do? Should they leave it as it is? What should the base factory solar be? Should there be an optional package of some variety? What sizes, what inverters, if any? Um, paint me a little bit of a picture here of like, if you were gonna get this RV, but you were interested in solar, what would you want on it? And maybe we can roll that back to the factory. I don't know. Um, the uh, baggage doors. So we saw how they're uh, equally sized. This also uses a key-like system, which is cool, so you don't need a whole bunch of random keys all hanging around on you. You see the slam latches, you see how it does have that magnet hold back right there. And one of the tricks with where the kitchen is on this one, you can't have amazing door side window coverage, but considering that window is eh, kind of straight across, a little bit kitty corner from your theater seat, it's not bad. And they maximize the awning. That is something they did extremely well here. They absolutely crushed the uh the uh awning space on this one now the underbelly of this it is enclosed it is forced air heated it's going to be an extended season kind of camper and in case you're wondering you might see the little yellow brackets banana yellow hanging off the back side there she is uh old banana rama yellow <laughs> i'm so tired that's not even funny it's not even stupid funny it's just not funny at all and i'm in like that giggle slap happy face basically guys power stabilizer jacks so push button awning, tongue jack, corner jacks, push button, easy peasy everything. So pardon me as I enter the shadows here of the handy shielding umbrella. And uh, again, ask you folks to tell me uh, what did you think was the good and the bad with this one? I've kind of given you my two cents on it and, and, and then two cents plus inflation. <laughs> uh, I know that I talked for a long time, but I see good stuff out of this one. I see good things out of this brand. Um, and Cruiser RV is very consistent with a lot of their features in construction. So like Radiant, Shadow Cruiser, they're not identical to this. They're sisters, they're not clones, but they're darn close. So if you like what you see here, um, and uh, you're like, yeah, but I don't have an MPG near me, check our lineup, maybe we have some of those other sister brands from the Cruiser family here for you. Um, they've really stepped up. They've really stepped up. They went from an awesome specialty mini camper brand to kind of being sort of drug through the mud and they have pulled themselves out and dusted themselves off and they've done something with themselves 
I, I'm going to go look for a couple more of these to cover if I have time. Uh, I've talked enough. Check the link in the video description for pricing and availability. Make sure you like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that YouTube stuff. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and have a bishtastic day, everyone.